Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Tonight's video is going to be a little bit different. Um, it's going to be geared more towards the beginner end of things. We're going to set up my laptop to record with the Helix as the uh, main audio interface. So let's get into it. So the first thing you're going to want to do, let me get the mouse over here. You want to go to line six and you want to download drivers. So Helix rack drivers go. So once that download is complete, we want to install it. And you want to make sure that your Helix is not plugged in yet. Mine is not plugged in yet. So we're finished with that. Now we're going to go back to... Get HX edit. Um, latest version. My Helix has been updated to 2.6. Once that completes downloading, you want to install it. So that is complete. Now I will plug in my Helix. Maybe. Open up HX Edit, see if it connects. Looks like it opened up on the other screen. And sure enough, we are connected. That's a good sign. So, I will minimize that. As you can see, my output device is my Line 6 Helix rack. And the input device is also set. Is helix rack if we go back we can see we have multiple out multi output so that means it's going out the xlrs as well as usb and we're going to be recording with usb in this situation so we'll minimize that let's open up studio one now i have this set up right now where it's in the usual spot but i have a long usb cable running around in my laptop and I plugged in my studio monitors into the Helix. So we're gonna do all our monitoring through the Helix. Uh, no. So right now I have the Ozio driver set up. This I did set this up at one point. Um, I downloaded the Ozio for all drivers. So let's just switch it to Helix for now. Bring those samples down. Let's try 256. You're going to want to play with these samples, the samples, um, the block size, depending on your system. You want to go as low as you can without having pops and clicks. Obviously, the higher block size you have, the more latency you will encounter. But since you're monitoring everything through the Helix, it really shouldn't be an issue. So we'll start off with 256 samples for now. So let's create a new song. Blank for now. Create a couple tracks. And we'll go to our audio input output. Okay. And 
Yeah. All right. So if you hear that, you can hear there's some slap back. You want to turn monitoring off. You don't want to monitor while you're recording. Since you're hearing everything direct from the helix. So let's just record something. Same thing. Now, like I said, we shouldn't really have to even deal with any latency here. It's going to play back what you recorded. You're going to hear it, but you're also just going to be playing along with it. You'll see what I mean. I don't remember what I played. listen back. So I heard a few clicks and a few pops, so you, you may want to adjust that block size. In order to do that, you go to Start, Configure Audio Device, you want to bump it up. Just hit OK. Try it again. Remember, you don't want monitoring on. Other side. Mm -mm. Realistically, I should have prepared something to actually play, but you get what I'm trying to do here. So there, there you go. I mean, we used the Helix to record directly via USB. And as you can tell, we didn't really have to do with any latency issues. The one thing you want to make sure you, to remember to do is whatever DAW you're using, make sure you're not monitoring through the DAW because what, what's happening is it's going out of your device, through your audio interface, into the PC, through the software, then back out. That's going to create latency. And that is why you hear that slap back delay. So if I turn this monitoring on, sounds like there's some slap back delay on that thing. And like I said, depending on your system, if you are running on an older system and you need to configure that block size to be bigger, as you can see right here, each time we bump up the block size, your input and output latency gets higher and higher. So now if we go back into the song and monitor, it's even more slapback. 
and it might sound cool if you're just jamming, but that's going to be a nightmare if you're recording. So that's it. And like I said, we use the big knob on the Helix to record the volume of the monitors. It's loud. And also, you have your headphone jack. You can monitor through your headphones. So you can pretty much do silent recording. Um, for years and years and years, I used my POD HD 500 as my main interface, and it worked great. Um, just use what you have. The Helix is a pretty decent interface. There's even an XLR in if you want to plug in a microphone, and you can use all of the Helix's inboard effects uh, to process then vocals if you wanted to. So um, I hope this helps. Main thing to remember, like I said, third time's a charm. Make sure you're not monitoring through your DAW. That is going to make the latency noticeable, audible, and give you fits. So if you have any more questions, drop some comments below. I hope this helps somebody, and we will slam my guitar into the desk. We'll see you in the next one, guys.